In order to follow this tutorial, you should be running macOS 10.15 Catalina Renewer. Versions of macOS that shipped before 10.15 came with this piece of software called iTunes. iTunes managed a lot of different features that related to syncing iPhones, iPads, and Macs. However, this software has been discontinued. Now this is managed through the Finder. So what you're going to do is you're going to first launch the Finder, as I've done here. Next, you will need to locate the operating system file. This ends in a .ipsw file. You can see I've downloaded it here, and now I have plugged in the iPad into the Mac. And once the iPad shows up in Finder, we can click it. You may need to pair it. If you don't see the screen, then you've connected this iPad or iPhone to this Mac before. This is a new iPad being connected to this Mac for the first time, so we click Pair. Next, we need to click Get Started. Now we are into the syncing screen. From here, we can click Restore iPad. However, before we do, we need to disable Find My iPhone. Once Find My iPhone has been disabled, we are able to select the software file from Finder and install it directly on the iPad, as we would have done with iTunes. Now the Mac is preparing, and after it is finished, you'll notice that it reappears back in the Finder, and the iPad is running the new version of iOS.